In this video, we are going to see that if you find a problem that whenever you are trying to log in with your Windows or trying to use the Windows Hello Face, and it says that we couldn't find a camera compatible with Windows Hello, here is what you can do. First of all, just go to the Start menu and just right here, Settings. Click on that. And on the left hand side, we have the Privacy and Security options. Just click on that. And here on the right hand side, just scroll all the way down to the camera. Here it is in the app permissions. We, we have camera. Just click here. And here, just make sure that the camera access is turned on. If it is not, you can just toggle that on. And also, you can just make sure that the camera and other apps related to the camera is also turned on. So basically, make sure that the master settings and the individual settings both are turned on for the camera. And after that, just close out of here and then try to activate the Windows Hello Face feature. Now, hopefully that should work for you and hopefully you should be able to resolve the problem. But if not, just make sure that your external camera, if it is an external camera, it should be plugged in properly. So make sure of that. Or you can try any other USB port. Maybe that should work for you. And also, if it is an external camera, make sure the correct drivers is installed. If not, uh, you can just try downloading it from the external website, the official website of that particular company or that particular camera and make sure that you install the relevant software or update the uh, device driver. What you can do is just write on the start menu, write device manager, click on that. And after that, just locate the camera application. So here, I'm just taking an example that this is, let's say, post camera. I'll just click on the batteries, but in your case, it should be camera. And whatever driver you see or the name of the camera you see that you want to update, just right click on that, click on the update driver and just select browse my computer for drivers. And after that, just click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And from here, you will see the compatible models or a couple of models that you can choose from. And once you find the relevant one, just choose that click on next. And after that, just close out of here, close the device manager as well. And just try restarting your computer and it should solve your problem. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want to learn more amazing stuff on our channel, you can join the playlist link in the description and I will see you in the next one.